How's it going, bros? And welcome to another week, uh, week four actually, of Art Stravaganza 2016. So, for this theme, uh, or for this week, the theme was opposite slash oxymorons slash basically just opposite, opposites challenge or something like that. Um, this was a theme I recommended and suggested. And everyone seemed to uh, like it, so we just rolled with it. And um, this was like kind of like do whatever you want that sticks with the theme kind of thing. So like Naira, oh sorry, uh, like Amanda did opposite. Like some people did concepts that were opposites, like sun and moon and fire and ice or fire and water. Uh, JMI did and. Um, but you could also do oxymorons. If you don't know what an oxymoron is, um, it's a fi by definition, <laughs> it's a figure of speech in which apparently, in which apparently contradictory terms appear in conjunction. So, for example, things like beautiful nightmare, sweet agony, deafening silence, etc., etc. Uh, so basically, two words that are um, antonyms of each other that make up one concept. Um, so I, I was planning out, looking at websites, really brainstorming some of these oxymorons in my head, and, um, I, 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 I came up with three ideas. Um, one was dirty innocence, another was angelic demon, and another was cruel kindness. So I asked, um, in Skype, you know, which one do you like best, or which one seems the most interesting, and a lot, everyone was like, dirty innocence, do that one. So, I really like that one too. So, um, I went ahead and did Dirty Innocence. And at first, I thought of doing something like adulterated of something dirty, you know, whatever. Um, but if you look at the definition, the actual definition of dirty, it says covered and marked with an unclean substance. And if you look at the definition of innocence, it says lack of gill or corruption purity um so i thought about i brainstormed and thought about what is the most innocent thing on this earth uh, <laughs> like or perhaps how society sees this thing as innocence and the first thing that popped in my head was a child which by the way <laughs> children are the exact opposite of innocence. They are literally blood-sucking demons that will stop at nothing to make your life miserable. If you don't agree with me, take a psychology class. Those kids are l psychopaths. So, I just wanna put that out there. As though as I don't think they're innocent, society thinks they're all innocent, pure, delicate creatures that should not be handled in any corrupt way. But I digress. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyways. Um, anyways, plus, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of urban exploration videos. And I've seen so many disturbing things. So many disturbing things that no human should ever be seeing. Ever. So don't look up these videos, even though I'm going to put them right here below. Because <laughs> you need to be as corrupt as I am. Because I just stumbled upon these videos by accident. So you have to see them too. Anyways, um, yeah, so I think that was mind fuel for this illustration in particular. Um, so I put the innocence, so I basically put the, oh god, oh, my throat. Put the innocence of a child in an event of like a satanic ritual covered in blood and what have you to show the dirtiness and I also added a baby carriage and a stuffed animal to really really push that innocent theme um 
And when I was first inking this illustration, I really liked how I was putting the line, the lines down, and I was using thick black lines for the trees. So I decided to to put this uh, to use like a black, purple, red color scheme. Uh, some something simple, but not like overly detailed because I really didn't want to use so much color on this because that's not the point of the illustration. Um, so in my personal opinion, I think that putting it on the gray tone sketch paper was kind of a mistake because it made it way too dark for my liking. I kind of wish that I did like a more of a yellowish kind of tint of paper, but you know, hindsight is 2020. And, um, but I went into editor and I made the candles a bit brighter and I, sh um, I made it shine some white and yellow in that illustration to make it look a lot brighter. So I think it sort of fixed, fixed it up a little bit, but, um, anyways, yeah, sorry for such a dark, dark piece. Um, I don't know, it's where my mind went to first, so that's the only thing I can think of, so... Yes, um, again, if you don't know what Art Stravaganza is, it was a, or it still is, a summer collective event created by the JMI Creations here on YouTube, and the people that are in it are JMI, myself, Amanda Elise, Lynn Doodles, and Naira Busby. Um, we did three weeks uh, prior, before this video, which was the Advanced Palette Challenge, Mythical Creature, and the Redraw Challenge, so go check those videos out if you already haven't. Um, so that means there's only one more week left, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset when this challenge is over, I'm not gonna know what to do with my life because this, is, this has been taking over my summer and I love it and oh no. I, this actually like went by super, super fast. Uh, it went way faster than I was anticipating it would, which means we're getting closer to August, which means I'm getting closer to moving out, which is so scary. Ugh. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever the world you may be. And I will see you in the next artwork or video of whatever I make. I love you guys so, 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 so much and look forward to the last Art Stravaganza video of 2016 very very soon. I love you guys so much. Bye!